The Pastis trial was a repurposing trial. It took an existing uh, medication called Tadalafil, that's a, a PD-5 inhibitor, and it's widely used for erectile dysfunction, mostly in men, in some women as well. And it, its mechanism is it's a, a vasodilator. It increases blood flow. So our, our hypothesis was that it might increase brain blood flow. And uh, so we, we recruited people who'd had a, a small stroke, who we knew had brain microvascular disease, what we call cerebral small vessel disease. And that we picked those because they're the 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 ones who that that's the the disease process that we think leads to vascular cognitive impairment and contributes to dementia. So we recruited sixty five older people all through our our one center in St George's Hospital, uh, and gave them one administration of the drug of Tadalafil and compared that with placebo. The bottom line is it didn't increase blood flow. It was a slight surprise. It, uh, as I reported at the conference, it it suggested that the the brain's regulation of its its blood supply remained good, even in older people with small vessel disease. That we had a hint that that has encouraged us to to think further about this. If we partition the age of the the participants if we look just at those over 65 there was an indication that that there might have been a treatment effect in other words the the tadalafil gave a hint of a small increase in blood flow but we that wasn't a significant change we weren't powered to detect it if we were doing it again i think we'd do it slightly differently and we'd focus on people over the age of 65 so that's that's what i presented it it, it went over quite well uh, got a lot of good questions and some ideas for for further work, further thoughts, how we might go forward. So that that was great. One of the really interesting takeaways I I got from the AAIC in San Diego was a a presentation by my friend and and uh, collaborator Ottavio Arancio, who is based at Columbia University in in New York. And he's worked on PD-5 inhibitors for a, a, a long time, primarily in, in rodent models. And his data made me realize, I should have realized this a long time ago, that v blood vessels aren't the only things that have PD-5. PD-5 is in nerve cells as well. And uh, if if we were getting the, the brain concentrations of the Tadalafil that we think we were, it's very likely they would have inhibited the neuronal PD-5 enzyme as well. Now, uh, Otavio's data shows that uh, this is all in mice. It, if you chronically treat mice with the drug, with drugs like this, he used sildenafil and, and another agent that he's invented himself. If you treat the mice for three weeks, it actually performs better on on the sort of rudimentary cognitive tests that one can do on a mouse. Things like the Morris water maze, like a, a, a condition test where they, they've they learned something and, and they remember it better if they're on the drug. So that that made me think, well, we we only tested one administration, one day, measured measuring three hours later, is it possible if we gave the drug for longer, a few weeks or a few months, might we uh, pick up a neuronal signal, something that would suggest there was a, a benefit due to inhibiting that neuronal PD-5? I, I hasten to say that a mouse in a Morris water maze is, is not a human, is not a, a dementia uh, situation. It's, it's not, um, I'm not making that direct leap, leap at all. But I came away from the conference thinking I, I should think a bit more about that and, and how that potentially might uh, help us to redesign a, a follow-up study with Tadalafil.